Good morning, Magicals, and welcome to Sunday. Oh, this is going out so much later than I'd anticipated, but it's been such a beautiful, slow, calm energy this morning. It's been delicious. I hope you guys are having a brilliant, brilliant weekend. Um, guys, thank you for sharing the space and time with me. I am so, so grateful for it. Um, just a quick reminder that I won't be putting out so many. I'm only going to be doing a once a week reminder for the daily chakras. So please make sure that you have subscribed and you've hit the little bell. And then it goes, Mara's here in your, in your inbox. Okay, guys. So today's energy, we're working with the crown chakra. What a beautiful energy for a Sunday. Okay. Um, crown chakra, um, the shadow side is attachment. Okay. So when we attach to outcomes, to circumstances, to people, to places, etc., but this is very much about the very the energy today is very much about just like being. There's this really nice sense of calm around today. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous energy. It's easy energy today, is what I want to say. It's exactly how it feels. So the crown chakra for us is about devotion. It's the one on the top of the head. It's our connection to source and divinity and devotion. It is such a beautiful energy space to be in. It's activated by faith and meditation. Um, really, really beautiful energy for us to be working in today. Okay, so it's our seventh chakra. Um, and you'll see, oh, sorry, the the, the um, Sanskrit name is Sahasrara, which means thousandfold. And if you have a look on this picture here, I'll take it in a bit closer. There are so many little petals around this. Okay, the, the lotus for um, Sahasrara is a thousandfold, so it's a thousand petals. Okay, so our card for today, how absolutely magnificent is this card? Sacred reverence. Okay, now four and seven at the top here, if you have a look, 47 is an 11. 11 is about self-mastery. Okay, now you can see that this card is all about like cosmic connection here. Sacred reverence is asking us to connect with spirit, to understand that spirit is ever present. It's all around us. Okay. When we let go of our human aspect, our ego aspect, we literally have access to the entire universe. And I think this is kind of what this card is trying to say. If you have a look here, the, the keys hanging, the two the two hands, we have the keys in our hands. Um, if you have a look at the way they've designed this card, it's beautiful. The earth is represented, the, the, the land and the sea is represented on the hands and then on the heart above. This is about um, faith, and it is really about devotion and understanding the bigger picture, okay? So we had guilt yesterday. I think it was the day before we did um, Ajna, which was the third R, about seeing the bigger picture. This is about understanding that we are completely connected to everything, that source is always around us, that spirit is always around us, always guiding us. And that faith and that gratitude for that, it's such an incredible energy space to be in. It really is a beautiful energy space to be in. So lovely card to start our Sunday with. Sorry, something just got up my nose energetically. Okay, so how we action this. The first card here, um, <laughs> full moon, surrender to the divine. Okay, so we've spoken about this a couple of times over the last couple of weeks where we're saying let go. Okay, when we talk about attachment here, all right, we are expecting certain outcomes to happen in certain time frames and to happen in a certain way. This is very much about us wanting to get our own way, and that's the simple way to say it. Um, this is about understanding that spirit is never, ever far from us. They're with us all the time, and when they action something and when it happens in their time and space, it happens for our highest good. There are factors at play that we can never see, we just never know about. So when we try and push something forward because we want it in a specific time frame, a specific way, a specific place, a specific person, what happens is we are um, actually resisting what the universe has to offer us, which is nine times, in fact, it's 10 times out of 10, 11 times out of 10. It's a million times better than what we could possibly have even imagined. Okay. So this is not, remember we've spoken about this before, surrender is not defeat. Surrender is a form of acceptance. It's a going with the flow. Be like the river. Just go with the flow. Let things happen as they meant to and spirit will take care of it. Okay. So beautiful energy. Then the other card that came up with this is confidence is the key to your success. New moon and Leo. Now I'm Kelsa is saying to me very clearly here, this is not about necessarily confidence in yourself. This is learning through devotion and prayer and faith 
all right, um, that you have to have confidence and spirit. It's about having the faith in them and the confidence in them to bring to you what you need and what you want. They don't always bring us what we want because as humans, we only see in a, in a, a certain, um, a basically a very singular plane where they are looking at multiple planes and we can maybe not see things that would cause harm or um, unnecessary upset for us. They have that. But we need to have the confidence in them at the very least and confidence in our teams um, to carry us through and the guidance and also confidence in our higher self. So that's like looking at our intuition and understanding. And the more connected we are here, the more we actually take time to connect in with our crown chakra and spend the time in meditation, um, we, we will grow to actually get more connected to our team. It's a way of connecting in with them more frequently the bond grows stronger and then you are actually able to understand that they are around us all the time and that they're working with us and for our highest good. And then the outcome card, oh, it's a beautiful card. I'm just not sure that you're going to see it. Um, okay. The number there is 13. Okay. One and three is four. Four is about foundations. And this card is about a woman walking in a full moon, so it's being illuminated, and there's stone walls. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this card. It's a very dark card. Um, and she's walking um, through this thing. Um, and this card, she's walking out, and at the end of it, there's a, you won't be able to see it, but in front of her, there's like a, a lit area, like a circular area, where she goes out into the open a bit more. Now, this card is about when we have done the work, when we have accepted this and we've surrendered to the divine, okay, when we can make peace with the fact that the divine and the, the you know, the spirit world is, is working in favor of us, we create a, an awareness that is unsurpassed, okay, then we're starting to head towards enlightenment. Remember, I said to you that the shadow side of the crown chakra is um, attachment. The belief is, is that when you release all attachment to every single thing in your life, whether it be place, person, space, it doesn't matter what it is, once you release that, then you actually reach enlightenment because there is a surrender. There is no attachment to anything. You are in complete flow. This thing creates the most unbelievable awareness. Sorry, I think it's going to be probably clear on that side. I really wish they didn't make glossy cards. Um, it's going to create a complete awareness for you. You're going to understand, you're going to see, you're going to finally have the proof that your belief and your faith in the divine um, and your, your connection with the divine is completely real. You're going to see the divine working in every aspect of life. And it's a beautiful space to be. When you are aware, you not only are able to call yourself out on, on what needs to be healed, and I don't mean that in an unkind way, I mean that in... Um, a positive way to move you forward, but you're also aware of circumstances and situations that no longer serve you, so you can step away, you're aware of what's coming towards you, so you can prepare for it, um, or alternatively not prepare for it and just be fabulously surprised, um, it's a beautiful state, it's a very empowering state to be aware. So if we can go with this today, and if we can spend some time in sacred reverence, you end up in a space of awareness. It's this energy at the moment, I said to you a couple of days ago, this whole week has just been the most beautiful, gentle energy. And it's been the most incredible week, full of surprises. And it's, it's just been unbelievable, unbelievable week. Okay, so we got some little chakra wisdom cards now. And um, I wanted to vary up our mantras a bit. And I've this one here has come up. Okay, seventh chakra, crown chakra, grace is the card that's come up. And the first one is just so beautiful. The grace of a higher power is with me. I move through life knowing this truth. The grace of a higher power is with me. And I move through life knowing this truth. How absolutely beautiful is that? I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So, lovelies, have a spectacular Sunday. Oh, your seat sound. I nearly forgot. Thanks, Kelso. Um, Om, okay, we've spoken about the Om chanting and filling your space with Om chanting, Om, O-M, is your seed sound for your chakra if you're wanting to connect in with it, um, also a beautiful chant to play if you're meditating, just generally, it really does become a little bit transcendental, it's like this just takes you just a different place, it's just such a beautiful energy to have around you, so have a spectacular Sunday, I will touch base with you tomorrow morning for your Monday morning reading, have a beautiful, beautiful one, Love you all lots and I'll see you soon.